as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I needed her wisdom after the hero of Ferelden died. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. So glad we got this. Could you imagine if we didn't have it? We'd screw with me. It's on there as well. Hidden chamber. Looks like we opened something. We'd be able to do this otherwise, would we? Oh, no way. What is this place? playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. Then you've chosen I not death. I'm to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. This has to be done. You know it. I see what you've become. The creatures stand before darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> Do 
do it. No, this can't be it. There's nothing here. It's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what you meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I know. And hearing you agree gives me the courage to do what must be done. Justinia tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Oh, we can explore. I'll try to explore while we can. Anything else? You think in there? No. It's a pretty little area, isn't it? Anywhere else? Nothing? Okay, we got what we could. Ah, come on, Trim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Uh, your worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasra. Already verified it with red. You want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Canari and the Inquisition. Joining forces. <laughs> awesome. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Canari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... Yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was... Not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. 
Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened. But it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I'll feel better when we take down Corypheus. As will I. He will not elude us forever. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin? Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. All right. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Ball? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Let's go hold up our end of the bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. They've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage. Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? 
The Vince want this red lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bull. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. Tattoos, but you're carrying a staff. Are you from a Chantry Circle? No, and I would prefer not to discuss it. Have I done something to offend you? You joined the Kune? After they rescued me from slavery. And put you into something worse. A slave may always struggle for freedom, but you among the Kune have been taught not to think. Solace, not the time. Clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent their stuff. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. Nice one. Crap. They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatory retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashov. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashov. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't. They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? We can make this up to your people. No, you can't. No way 
They'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Visitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasras reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. You all right, Paul? Yeah. Guess I'll have more free time without having to write all those reports. Bull. Boss, let me have this one, all right? This one needs to be mine. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those vents. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the Chargers come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. The Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the Chargers tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming. Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You don't need to say Talvashoth like it's an insult. This isn't about you, boss. But I'm Talvashoth too, just like you. No, you're not. Not really. You grew up with a family. You never knew anything different. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turned their back on the Kune. And now I'm one of them. You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word, and you don't follow the Kune any longer. You're Iron Bull, mercenary captain for the Inquisition. I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. <laughs>